bang, 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 bang. What up? What up, what up, what up, what up? It's much clearer on this one. I'm gonna start using this one. This one. Hope you're having yourself a great day. About to do a uh, interview, a potential interview with a potential cold calling specialist. About to find somebody else to hire. We're about to relinquish that money because it ain't even funny. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get ready to do an interview here in the next couple of minutes. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we're supposed to come on about six. So I'm uh, just gonna break this down so you can actually chime in and see if you can learn something even by accident on breaking down an actual interview for a brand new virtual assistant. I know a lot of people say they want to get brand new virtual assistants. They want somebody to do the stuff that they don't want to do. They want to get somebody to do the stuff that they can't do and that's really the bad way to look at it. I look at it as an extension of my arm. If your virtual assistant sucks, you suck. So you got to either train them up or find people that's trained up, or have something, some type of situation. So that's what I'm about to do here. Is about to go ahead and find somebody. What's up? What's up? Clevy Black, Don Love. What up? What up? How's it going? Hope you're having yourself a great day. What's up, Pam Douglas Real Estate? What up, everybody? Hope you're having yourself a great day. DS Resale, doing the resale and the retail, getting that money like it ain't funny. Good you are. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do is um, see if there's somebody here that wants to work these phones from their home. Who else is up in here? What's up? What's up? So yeah, if this video provides you any type of value, even by accident, give it a thumbs up. Oh, give me a like and give me a share. My light just dropped. Oh no, we need the light up here because I'm too dark. Can you, is that light even working on me? Ring light. These ring lights, they look good, but they don't work that good, in my opinion. So, yeah, I was supposed to call them in a few minutes. Let me see if they're on already. So, yeah, so basically, uh, this person, um, you know, I do a preliminary questionnaire before I even get to this point. Um, they said that, you know, I asked a basic question, how would you grade your English on a scale of 1 to 10? They say, I will rate myself an 8 because I value communication, but just like most people, I have things to learn. Some that always ensure clear communication by utilizing multiple methods of delivering messages, and I give ample time for questions before constructing paragraphs that need to be delivered and to be answered. I believe that there is always room for improvement, and every day is a learning process. Isn't that a good answer? That's a long answer, like a presidential candidate answer. But that was the answer to the simple question of how would you grade your English, your English speaking skills on a scale of one to ten? Because um, this person here is actually overseas. Uh, also asks, what software are you familiar with with dealing with spreadsheets? They say I'm familiar with Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So those are some things that may be good at. I asked, have you ever worked in a call center before? They say yes, I worked as technical support associate. I answered incoming phone calls and provided support to end users slash customers that, that are experiencing problems with regard to the internet, cable TV, and phone services. I listen to the descriptions of end users issues and then I make, let me see, I make sure that in every call I deliver the best and good customer service by resolving their issues with a sense of urgency. I am guiding users through the step-by-step -step solutions dealing with customers and clients requires a lot of patience, kindness, understanding, pays, I pay attention to detail, uh, commitment, and active listening to be able to resolve the issue fast over the phone. Yikes! That was a long answer right there. So that was the answer to, have you ever worked in a call center? They had to give me a whole thing. So I guess when we get her on here in a minute, she's going to give me some long, detailed stuff out on that as well. Uh, let's see here. And then they got another little thing just saying, I hope you consider me for this telephone slash admin for the real estate business. I'm available for an interview at any time of your convenience. Thank you for considering my application. 
So she got some long answers in writing. Let's see if we got some long answers in speaking. So I don't know if it's going to work out that same way or not. Let's see here. Is it 6 o'clock yet? Central Standard Time. So you think it's going to work out? Man, this stupid light keep falling. I guess you don't need it. What's up, real estate old school? About to do an interview here in just a second. Let me see here. I'm supposed to call through Skype. Let's see here. Lani is her name. Lanny or Lani? I'm not sure. Sounds like she mixed with the computer. <laughs> Maybe. And some people just try to be, you know, perfect. You know what I mean? Some people just try to go through and enunciate their words just right and be too perfect. I just want them to be real. Hopefully she speaks English as good as she types English. Because, like I say, let me see. I can let you show it. See it real quick. Look how long those answers are. Them are book answers. That's a book answer up there I just read. So we're going to see if this works out. You say, my man Rick, I will hire them. You will hire them? What's up, TJ? Yeah, so let's see here. Uh, so it's 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Let me see if I can call. I don't know if it's going to go through or not. Let me get my questionnaire ready because I got... A set of questions. Like I said, that was the preliminary questions before they even get to an interview. See, I got a pre-screen before the pre-screen. Because you never know who you're going to come across. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. They're not answering. I don't know if it's this Skype or what. Hold on, let me make sure. Not now. Yeah, let me send her a message and say, yeah, I just called you. I don't know if Skype, don't Skype, do you have to uh, be a friend of the person or something first? Or you can just call anybody with their name? Because I just try to call her. So I got interview questions for entry-level caller already made ready to go here. Somebody just texted me and I don't know, they just said yes. I don't know what the question was, but they said yes, whoever just texted me back. Huh. All right, so... Um, here we go. Let me see. Let me try to call them one more again. Lani or Laney. I don't know if you say Lani or Laney. How you say that name? But we're about to see if she about that life. Say so you want to get on my phone, you better be having sounding good on there. Let me message her on here on this other system. So she wants to get hired by you. That's correct. Yes, this is an interview that I'm about to do with a potential virtual assistant. And this is just to get on the phone and do cold calling. Pure cold calling, getting hung up on, yelled at, all that type of stuff. You must be her friend. Oh, really? Okay, let me send her a message. I am calling you on Skype from Chris Monroe STL. That's my name on all social media outlets. Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's YouTube. That's Skype. That's TikTok. Get on the block. It don't matter all the hip hop. It's Chris Monroe STL. So yeah, I think I must be her friend. So let me see here. You think I do? Let's see here. Grant permission? No, I don't want to do that. Well, Ani isn't online. Um, so she sent me her name on here, so I don't know. Let me see. Let me make sure. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time today. Yeah, I told her the time zone, so I don't know. Maybe she went to sleep, because what time is it over in the Philippines? Uh, what, 7 in the morning? They 13 hours ahead? What country is she in? How much is she per hour? She's asking $5 per hour. Freelancer. I don't. Uh, the question is, is she with the company or a freelancer? I only usually deal with freelancers. I don't usually deal with companies. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but I prefer to actually bring somebody into the fold, train them up the way I want them to do the things, and not have their bad habits from previous places. I just need a person who speaks good English, can handle the calls, and follow the script, because it's pretty much scripted standard stuff when they get on the phone. We don't want somebody getting on there trying to do too much. Like one girl I interviewed, she was like, oh, yes, we were looking to purchase. We have several interested buyers looking for properties. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not looking for buyers interested in properties. We are the buyer looking for properties. So she kept her habits from her previous company. So this one was found on Upwork. 
So there's a couple of places you can find virtual assistants. Upwork.com, <clears throat> onlinejobs.ph. Um, you can find them on Fiverr.com, and there's a, a plethora of other places. Or you can go straight to a company, like you said above there. Good question. You can get them anywhere. And actually, a lot of virtual assistants even hit me in my inbox on Facebook, on Instagram. Say, you do real estate. I can do your cars for you. And I'm like, not with you rolling that thong like that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You cannot do that for me. <clears throat> so, I don't know. And she's not online on here either. So, I guess she's not doing her interview. I guess that's, that's, that's settled that. What's up? What's up? What's up? Real A State, how you doing? Down in Texas, Texas representing. Where are the rest of y'all from? I know you out in what, California or something, right? Let me see. No, 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 exactly. Because, <laughs> yeah, they come over with their bad habits, and I don't want them coming on, getting on the phone. Yes, we're looking to list their property. No, we want to buy your property. Because, you know, I don't mean any of you to do any kind of calling, you would know when you get on the phone sometimes. People say, you're a real estate agent, you're trying to list my house, you're trying to do this, because they get bombarded with different type of people calling them. And I say, no, we're interested in buying your house for cash in any condition, and that's regardless of how much you owe. Regardless, not just, you know, I want to eliminate all the stuff that they've thought before. Because they say, what are you, one of them investors, you want to knock me down on my price? You want to knock me down a two cent? No, we don't do business like that. We want to make it a win-win situation for you and for us, we want to make sure everybody's winning. So that's just some of the stuff you want to make sure that's done pretty early on. So yeah, I'm going to put the questions in the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. Woke Real Estate Investors Group on Facebook. I'll put the uh, actual questionnaire in the file section on there so you can go get it. If she ever answers the phone. Let me try again. Let me see. Do I need to call her on here? on this other system because this is getting ridiculous here now offline she's not even online maybe she forgot about the interview who knows they do not have to be a friend for you to call them on Skype oh okay I'm from Los Angeles been in Chicago for six months oh alright you you only like five and a half six hours away from St. Louis Don Love you right up the street smart for doing for hiring someone else to do cold calls exactly and that's the thing you gotta realize if it's something in your business that need to be handled whatever it is whether it's cold calling whether it's skip tracing looking up phone numbers whether it's researching backgrounds and finding people whatever that task is within your business it has to be covered whether you do it yourself or you pay somebody to do it for you either way it go it's gotta get done you cannot ignore the elephant in the room and say well I don't wanna really do no calling so we ain't gotta do no calling you're going to do some calling if you're in this type of business, it's real estate, because it all goes through the phone. And I even have to tell some of my you know, coaching students that they're like, oh, I just sent them a text, or oh, I just did this. No, you need to get on the phone with them. Get good on that phone, because when you get through, that's where the money made at, is on that phone. You can play it off all you want, no matter what. All real estate transactions will end up going through that phone sooner or later. You can't get out of it. We can make offers over the Internet. We can make offers through email offers through text, all of that stuff, and when you get through, you're still getting on that phone to close the deal, negotiate the deal, build rapport, close the deal up all together. You got to close it, right? And how are you going to close it on the text? I'm not saying it can't be done, don't get me wrong, but I mean, it's just not real. You want to make it real. You want a person to feel your inflection in the voice. You want them to say, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, when you're sorry to hear something. You want them to feel your emotion. And you can't do that through a text. You can't do that through an email. But you can do that through the phone. So get on that phone, learn how to work that phone, and get gooder and gooder at it. You have the best radio station in the United States. Who? Which station is that? Hot 104.1 or 100.3 The Beat? Or one of them other stations? What's up, Sean? Let me see if this lady here is going to answer this phone or what. So she's not online on here, and she's not online on here. So I don't know. Unless they don't know what time zone we in or something. Because I specifically said 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's try to call again. I don't know. Maybe we ain't going to get them. Does she look cute to you? Like that means something. You ain't cute. We ain't hiring you. <laughs> you got to be cute to get hired.
So hopefully she's got good, strong English skills, English speaking skills, and she's trainable. Everything else I can handle from there. I can train them up, or even one of my other assistants can train them up. Because actually, I don't even want to do these interviews. I'll let somebody else do this junk too. I don't want to do none of it if you ask me. Onboarding, training, but I have systems already in place for all of this. I got videos already set up. What's up, Marta? True Movement LLC. Marta is smarter. When I was, wasn't was a man of the cloth, I came there many times. Oh, really? <laughs> so you had to give over your life to the Lord so you can do the right thing. All right, but well, that's good. Turn over a new leaf and get out these streets and turn over a new leaf. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You uh, you still do virtual assistant too, right, Marta? Yeah, I think you do VA, right? Virtual assistants. Yeah, so I'm, this person here is over in the Philippines whenever I can get him on the phone for this interview. What's up, Al? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the show. If there's a show, it's not really a show, it's just a stream. I thought I would have been done by now, actually. This is supposed to have been a quick little 15, 20 minute stream and be done, but uh, the lady won't answer the phone. I don't know. Maybe not. Do I need to call her from this system? Let me see. Can I call it on this other thing? I really rather use this Skype. Nothing much, man. Trying to set up an interview that we supposed to have about 10 minutes ago and they haven't came on. Hashtag I stay woke. That's me. I get your to do's done. That's right. The best virtual assistant I know in the United States, right there. Marta is smarter. She makes it happen. So, yep, if you're looking for a VA stateside, because a lot of people ask me that all the time. Well, why do you hire overseas, or can you hire somebody in the United States? You can hire wherever you want, as long as it makes sense for your business. If it's somebody you want in the United States that understands the culture, understand the slang and the jargon and the ebonics that people are talking out here in these streets, get you somebody that's here local. Hire Marta. She's smarter. She'll hook you up. Let's see here. Oh, no problem. I don't know why she won't answer the phone. Maybe she's asleep. Maybe she set her alarm to wake up. Because let me see here. We only messaged about two or three hours ago. Let me see. When was this? No, this was earlier today. About five hours ago. Let me see something. Maybe I can call her from this system. Let me try to call her from the system we're on right here. Do you use the Gold Cup VA? I've used them before. They're pretty good. But it's kind of expensive for what they do. I could train somebody to do the same thing and do even more. To do my spreadsheets, do my follow-up calls, do all my stuff. With the Gold Club VAs, you're kind of stuck with, uh, you know, just doing the scripts that they provide. I like to have my stuff customized. I like custom. You know, I'm a custom person. I like stuff to be formulated and proper for me. I.e., the intake lead sheet. If we're talking to any seller to say they want to sell their house, it's the same process every time. It's step by step. Everything we do is already formatted. Let's see here. Don says, how much is Marta? Usually, states are so expensive. She can get you a price. Hit her up. DM her. She'll hook you up. Tell her you know Chris, and she'll give you the VIP rate. <laughs> What's up, nonstop Eric? What up, what up, Louisiana? getting paid off this country grandma who do you use so yeah I hire people usually overseas in the uh, Philippines I have two now I'm trying to see about hiring another one to uh, you know wrap up our calling because we got to get some leads in we got to get these leads turned all the way up turn them up turn them up yep I guess this lady really is sleep I was just thinking she was sleep but uh I guess she is. They say it's 7.14 her time in the morning. Hopefully those roosters wake them up over there in the Philippines. Because, you know, they got a serious, serious, serious rooster thing going on. You'd be like, what the heck is that in their backyard? Chickens? Oh, heck no. I had to let somebody go because they had too many roosters in the background. One of the VAs. Because I've been through about 10 or 15 of them. Maybe about 12, somewhere around there. Chris, you need to do some stand-up comedy. Well, how much they going to pay? If they going to pay me right, I'll get on there and grab that mic in a heartbeat. How much it pay? But see, I don't like to work for money because the rich don't work for money. The rich work for assets. Get you some assets, get you some systems, get you some processes where your money comes in whether you go to work or not. 
That's how the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. And I don't want to be poor no more. When in Rome, do what the Romans do. And don't forget, this video is being brought to you by WokeRealEstates.com, your number one source for all of your real estate needs. Whether you're looking for contracts, cool gear, or coaching, WokeRealEstates.com. That's right, that's right. Hit the link in my bio. Thank you, Marta. You're the best. Let's see here. Pin comment. You said I need to do some uh, stand-up comedy? Yeah, right. But some people make good money with it. Didn't, isn't that where um, Kevin Hart started at? With stand-up comedy or something like that? Are most of the actors? I know Chris Rock and all of them and stuff. Let's see here. Al has a question. What VA service would you recommend, Chris? Getting my first one this week. Was going to do it through the Gold Club. Now I'm curious. So, first of all, Al, I always start off with what do you need your virtual assistant to do? You need to have an outline of the jobs or tasks that you're looking for your virtual assistant to do. First of all, are you just looking for them to do cold call outbound? You're looking for them to do inbound call receiving? You're looking for them to do spreadsheets and managing your leads and stuff like that? Because, see, that's all like. You know, some of that stuff can get tedious, and I don't want to do it, so I hire somebody else to do it. And when you start doing these spreadsheets and all of this stuff, you definitely don't want to do that. You know, you got to identify exactly what you want them to do. Do you have an outline? Let's, let's start right there. Do you have it figured out what you want your virtual assistant to do for you? Do you have it written out, not just in your mind, well, I just want them to make calls. Make calls and then say what? You have a script for them to follow. You have processes in place for them to follow. Because it's, it's one thing to just say, you know, I want somebody to help, which is good to identify that, and there's nothing wrong with it. Because I think I hired my first virtual assistant two weeks into the business before I even had any deals, before I even kind of knew what I was doing in real estate. I knew that I was going to get a virtual assistant right out the gate because I know how powerful that is to have that phone ringing. Somebody calling out on that phone, somebody answering that phone, somebody got a man the phones. It's, a, it's babysitting, you know, in a lot of ways. That's right, so there, there is no scope. Exactly, that is exactly right. So there is no scope creep. Exactly, so you want to know what you want them to do. Definitely most important, in my opinion, you want to know what you want them to do. Um, you set aside whatever budget you're going to set aside for the project. You know, and if you want them long term, try to hire for long term. You don't, you know, or you can have somebody do it temporarily. Just test it out. You know, I tell everybody we hire. You know, this is temporary. You know, there's room for advancement and full time in the company. We can move you up because I always got other positions because we got multiple parts from the lead generation, from pulling list, skip tracing at wokeskiptracing.com. You can skip trace. Uh, then you, just to get their phone numbers and email addresses so you can contact them. Then three, the actual act of contacting them, whether you're sending out a text message campaign, sending out a ringless voicemail campaign, or you're sending out a, um, what's another one, just a cold call campaign. You could be calling them. Or you could be doing a mailing campaign, sending out mailers. That's another way to reach them. Um, you know, it's, it's several ways you can touch a person, but somebody got to keep that organized to know that this person was responded to. This person said, leave me alone, don't call me no more, or I'm not interested in selling, or yeah, I want to sell, call me back in six months, put them up in a follow-up sequence. See, all of that stuff is about having good systems in place. Not saying you have to have all of that figured out. You can work that out with the person that you're working with to implement some systems, but you got to know in your mind, you have to be the visionary to say, this is what I want. I don't exactly know how I want to get to this point. I kind of know, but I don't know exactly everything. You don't have to know everything, but no, I want to get to here. These are the things I want done, I know for sure, and we can always add to it and make it better. Does that make sense? You say, mostly I need cold callers, fizzbos, and different lists. I do have scripts. So, yeah, so that's the thing. So when you do have these scripts, are you planning on training them yourself, or are you planning on saying, you know what? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to throw them on the phone. They better figure it out. And then come back crying and say that VA sucked. You didn't train them. You didn't give them the, the, the scripts. or I mean, you may have gave them scripts, but they still need practice, coaching, and whatever else they may need to be successful. You want them to be successful because their success equals your success. Right? Uh, let's see here. Chris, can you assist us in making a worksheet? for a VA guy to use. So yeah, I actually have all of that stuff at WokeRealEstate.com. The link's in my bio here. I actually have everything as far as the real estate business. Um, 
So I have about 175 free real estate training videos right at WokeRealEstates.com. Just go right on the website and you can watch a full list of everything to actually conduct business in real estate. And then um, I do offer a coaching service as well. I think we only got one slot left for that. We're almost full. For the coaching service, you can get information on that as well to actually coach you to show you exactly how to run, set up your business right as a business and then plugging people into these places within your business versus just, I just need cold callers because, you know, that could be anything because you got to train them up, practice with them, and then put them on the phone and show them how to use whatever system you're using, whether it's physically dialing individual calls, whether it's um, using something like Mojo Dialer or using something like, um, what's it, Call Tools or any of these other softwares out here to call people. You know, you have to have an answer for these questions. And if you don't have an answer, find an answer. You know, and it, it'll work out. There are many kind of VAs with a wide variety of tasks you can give them. Exactly. Many of them. They can do a lot of things. And a lot of people feel like, oh, well, I don't really want my VA doing this. Well, I don't really want my VA doing that. And there's people out here in real estate right now with virtual assistants finding people, meaning, you know, pulling lists of motivated sellers for whatever reason they may be, skip tracing the list, calling the list, getting properties under contract from that list, finding in buyers from that list, getting it in escrow from that list, and getting it closed. And all the owner of the business is doing is going to check that it made it to escrow. Now, that's crazy to know that a virtual assistant can do everything from the rooter to the tutor all the way to the finish line. That's crazy. What's up, down OTL? Good to see you. So, you know, to think that they can't do certain things is crazy. They can do whatever, you know, they're trained to do. You know, get you some good quality people, screen them, give them a chance, give them a chance to fail. What they say, hire fast and fire, what they say, hire fast and, no, what is it, hire slow and fire fast? Something like that. I don't know what the saying is. <laughs> I don't fire fast enough. I actually don't fire people too often. Actually, it's hard for me to fire, and that's something I got to get over myself. Let's see here. Uh, that's right. Get your own. Get out of your own way. Exactly. Let them work in your biz while you work on your growing business. Exactly. And that's what a lot of people do. They get in the way. And I want to get out the way. See, I understand. I know I'm in the way of my business. I'm trying my best to get out of this thing quicker than I can. Get out of the way. Get out of the way so they can make that pay. I don't want to be in the way no more. So I don't know what's up with this lady. Let me try to call her again. This is 20 minutes past. We're supposed to be doing an interview, but uh, something going on here. Either she's asleep or what? Call again. Coach up, then coach out. Exactly. Let's see if she answers this time. Answer the phone, lady. I should have told her to just call me on Skype. I usually don't hunt people down. I'm only calling them again because y'all on here on the live stream. So you can see how the interview is conducted. But like I said, I'm going to put the questionnaire in the Woke Real Estate Investors Group on Facebook. Woke Real Estate Investors Group on Facebook. I'll put the questionnaire in there. There's going to be a file within the file section. Just go ahead and uh, if you aren't a member already, you sleep. So go in there and join it, and you can get some other files as well, such as my multiple offer strategy template is in there, um, and a bunch of other stuff. There's a lot of resources right there in the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. Uh, no problem, Al. Say thank you. Thank you. So I don't know if I'm doing this interview. Let me see something here. There was a couple of people in the job, but I thought this was the best one, or one of the best ones. But if you ain't show up for attendance, you can't get the job. You got to show up to win. That's the first rule of anything in success. Show up and then win. If you can't show up, everything else don't mean nothing. So I'm hoping that uh, I guess she'll just call back or whatever whenever she wakes up because I'm not going to be able to reach her right now. Did you all have any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? We got almost 30 minutes in. Good night. I didn't know this video was going to be this long. So, yeah, don't forget, we're going live this Monday night, each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. This week, we're on with Ron Rana out of Houston, Texas. This Monday, May the 4th, Ron Rana coming on, the seven-figure earner 
seven figure closer. I think he did like a two million dollar real estate deal or something crazy like that. I can't get a six figure deal. This dude did a two million dollar deal. Good night. Let's see here. Do you have scripts available? Yes. Everything you need is at WokeRealEstate.com. So I don't really use scripts. I use a guideline. And it basically, this is one of them here. It's like a basic customer or seller intake sheet. Uh, and it's not really scripted, but it's sectioned off. Because first we want to do is gather the basic information about the house. What type of repairs it need. You know, where's the address. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Basic stuff, right, about the house. Secondly, we move over into their situation. Sounds like a pretty good house. So made you decide to want to sell it. They say, yeah, I want to sell it because I'm moving a wooly wooly or whatever the reason is for why they're selling. Well, I really don't want to sell it. You guys called me. They ain't that motivated. Them kind of people, you don't want to deal with them. Then, thirdly, we move into the numbers. You know, how much they owe on it, how much they want for it, how much they think the house will appraise for it, all of this stuff. My whole system is set up to be virtual. Virtual real estate, virtual wholesaling, virtual making that money from the seat of your own little house. Wouldn't that be nice? So you can learn more about that at WokeRealEstate.com or hit the link in my bio. So yeah, the scripts break down all of that. And my motto is, if you ain't asked at least 50 questions, you haven't asked enough. You know, I know you see a lot of people out here going and talking to sellers. Yeah, you want to sell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I do got a call I need to make. Thinking of calls. Let me go back. Not too many computer screens open on here. Kind of spooky. I think I do have somebody on here. Chris, God bless you, all your family members, and everyone on the call. Don, no problem, Don. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, let me see here. I do got some people that said they wanted to move into one of my rent-to-own homes. Should I call them back or not? I'm in STL, man. I need cash buyers. Let's JV on some deals. Hit me up. You got a deal in a contract, shoot, shoot me a message, an email at chris at wokerealestate.com. That's my email address. Chris at WokeRealEstate.com. Shoot me an email or any type of deal you got here in St. Louis. Um, I might buy myself. I'm looking for some deals to buy. Or if I don't buy it, I know somebody who will. If it's a deal, it's, I'm, I'm going to buy it or somebody I know about it if it's truly a deal. Somebody calling right now. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they on the phone with them. My virtual assistant is on the phone with him, so I thought I was going to get to answer a call, but they on the phone with somebody. Won't do me no good. I got you in a couple. I got a couple in South City. Oh, really? Why you ain't tell me, man? I'm trying to buy in South City. Do they need a lot of work or something, or what? What's going on with them? Are they uh, tore up from the floor up, or are they just some decent houses that somebody can actually bring back to life and save the day? Can't have these properties in South City. You know, I live in South County, so I'm not too far away. What's up, Antonio Holman, with the best podcast that I know of, other than mine, other than the Chris Monroe Show, each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. What's up, Kima? How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a great day out here making that pay. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, my VA already took care of the calls. I was gonna call somebody back, but they already did it. What up? What up? What up? Big C in the place to be. That's me. <laughs> yep, yep. What you working on, Kima? You working on some deals or what? You working on some deals out here? Antonio say I'm in pivot mode, sir. Are you also? Oh, I'm always pivoting. I'm always shifting with the market. I do what the marketplace say. If the marketplace say, yeah, man, y'all need to be buying, I'm buying. If the marketplace say you need to be selling, hmm, I'm thinking about selling. Well, I'm always selling. What's the Grant Cardone book called? Sell or be sold? You're always selling or you're always being sold at all times. So you're doing one of them. Yes, I'm working on one here in Atlanta. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Atlanta's one of those competitive markets where it seems like everybody's in the business or everybody's trying to be in the business. Maybe I need to start marketing in Atlanta too. I am looking for another market. I'm only in St. Louis right now for marketing, but I've done deals in other places. So um, I am looking for some other places to reach out to, but I have to have somebody, some boots on the ground there to actually work the deal. You know what I mean? Boots on the ground are important, especially with me, but see, because I do, you know, a lot of these creative deals. I like wholesaling, but I like to stay in the deal if possible. 
I love to buy the house and keep the house and get the passive cash flow. Passive. Indianapolis, KC. Oh uh, yeah, I know some people. I know. I think. Uh, yeah, I got a couple people up in KC right now. So I definitely need to be uh, up there. And down in Memphis, and down in um, where else? A couple places. You know, all these markets. Because it's pretty much the same thing. All I need is a good real estate attorney who can close these deals up, and a seller who's willing to sign this paperwork, and we can make that paperwork. It's really that easy. I don't want to make it drawn out or more special than that, because that's exactly what it is. So let me try this lady one more time, and if she don't answer this time, we're going to call it quits. Like I said, if this video provides you any type of value, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. You can even share it right here on Instagram if you want to. Right into somebody's inbox just to be like, boom, what is this going on? I have a great electrician in KC if you're looking. Oh, all right, cool. See, I don't fix on a lot of houses. See, that's my thing. I'm about that money. I'm about this right here. Make this calculator numbers grow on that bad boy. Make the numbers grow on that calculator. All that swinging hammers and trying to fix on it and managing contractors, that's really not my cup of tea. And that's why, you know, a lot of people don't get into real estate because they don't realize there's so many moving parts within real estate where you don't have to necessarily fix up property, where you don't have to necessarily have a real estate license, where you don't have to have a 700 plus credit score, where you don't have to have cash in the bank, rotten in the bank, learn, earning less than 1% interest yearly while they making money on your money. You know, a lot of people think you need all that stuff, but you don't. You just need this thing. There's three ways to get in real estate. Cash, you know about the big cash buyer dropping that money. Credit, that 700 plus credit score, we know about that. Or you can always get in with that knowledge. No money down real estate really does exist. Where you can get a house for a little money. Or if you're really creative, use the end buyer's money to close on the deal to stay in the deal. Instead of just wholesaling it out, stay in the deal. I'm always trying to find a reason to stay in the deal. An excuse to keep me in there and get loose. All right, let me see here. Somebody else just called. What's going on here? Um, let's see. Somebody just called and said, I'm with KNLC TV in St. Louis. I'm trying to get in touch with the person who manages your advertising and marketing efforts. Do you know who I might speak with? I'm working with several companies in the Chicago land area who I've helped create a highly successful frequency TV campaign. Huh? TV. So basically somebody trying to cold call me. Somebody just cold called me and the VA took the message. That's what I'm reading here. Um, they can generate quarterly leads. Yeah, TV is expensive. TV better have your good wallet with you when you're going to get on that television. Radio, TV, all that type of stuff. Because I worked in radio for a few years. Yes, that's right. We're now tuned in live to the Chris Monroe Show. So any more questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Because I'm about to wrap this thing up, y'all. Like I said, make sure to go to the YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL because we're going live on Monday night, each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. This week we're on with Ron Rana. The following week we're on with Willie Coleman, the 19-year-old um, six-figure owner. He's made, he's made several six-figure months consistently at 19 years old. What's my excuse and what's your excuse? He's doing six figures a month in real estate, wholesaling. Oh, hell no. Pick his brain. He's coming on on May 11th. Then May 18th, who are we on with? I think we're on with the fire damage king, Mr. Um, Elijah Rubin. He's on on the 18th. Then on the 25th of May, we're on with uh, Law Clerk on Demand talking about probate deals. All these are on Monday nights, each and every Monday night coming up. Uh, the following week after that, we're on June 1st. June 1st, we're talking about mobile homes with the Mobile Home Elite Investors. And I got some other great streams coming up for you each and every Monday night. What market is he in? Uh, which one, Antonio? Uh, the 19-year-old that's doing those six figures? He in South Carolina. South Carolina. And the guy coming on Monday, he's uh, he did a $2 million deal or something ridiculous. Wholesale. I ain't ever even heard of that. Uh, apartment though this is an apartment complex but hey you can wholesale anything yeah the 19 year old yeah he was um yep he's in south carolina willie coleman look him up willie.coleman here on ig yep in south carolina so what's our excuse 
What's your excuse? What's my excuse? What's our excuse? Step the game up. So I'm bringing some heavy hitters in the next couple of weeks. So make sure. And if you want to, you can always text JV to 31996. That'll let you know when we'll be uh, actually streaming live. Let me see if I got it in my thing here. Uh, nope, not on this phone. Text JV to 31996. Text JV is the keyword to 31996. You'll get notified of when we go live and you get some free real estate documents. All right? No excuses, Antonio. Exactly. No excuses, man. No excuse to get loose. All right? So we'll see you on the next one. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match, not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com.